Hi, this is Shara McKee reporting to you live from my office here at the POK. And this is my new camera that my husband gave me that I am trying to see if I like it. And uh, playing around with this video blogging, I guess is what it's called. Um, tonight is Tuesday night. It's family night. I um, hope my husband will be, will be back in time. He's gone out to be with Myrick Johnson, whose mother is having very serious open heart surgery today. And um, he's very concerned. So if you could just say a prayer for Sister Johnson um, when you get this, um, I'd appreciate it. Tuesday nights are family night here at BOK. And what that means is we usually try not to schedule anything at the church and leave that that night off open on the calendar so that uh, families can have a meal together, they can do a Bible study, and um, play some games together. Usually at our house we act out the Bible stories. They um, We dramatize everything and the kids get to be different characters. Last week I was Silas and McKenna was John Mark and Savannah was Paul. Anyway, so I usually like that whenever we act out the the um, the Bible stories, uh, except for whenever we did the Passover and Rob put blood on the doorpost. I mean ketchup, not real blood. Ketchup on the doorpost, representing the blood, and uh, that was kind of messy. But you know they probably won't ever forget it, so that's good. And then of course um, tomorrow night's midweek service. It's always good. And then Friday night is our Katie Christian Academy Christmas pageant. The kids have been working really hard. Um, I can hear Josh Landry right now practicing his Drummer Boy song. So the KCA choir will be singing. All the ages will be performing. And um, we'll have special guest Denny Hahn here playing for the KCA choir. Beginning in January, he's going to be teaching piano lessons to our students. And I'm very excited about that because he's great. And I'm thinking, thinking, maybe that I'll start offering voice lessons beginning in um, January. I'm not committed to it, but I'm thinking about it. So help me pray. And then Sunday brings us to our kids' drama called Angel Alert, and that should be adorable. Of course, kids' musicals are always cute, and um, they've been working hard on that. And then, of course, Sunday is always an awesome time at POK. I'm so thankful to report that seven... Brand new people received the gift of the Holy Ghost on Sunday morning and Sunday night combined, and we baptized five people. Um, it's, it's a really rare occurrence for a Sunday to go by without someone or several receiving the gift of the Holy Ghost, and that's something that I'm so thankful for, and I don't want to take it for granted. Um, and then Monday, we're doing another uh, Body Magic Showcase. Uh, my friend Shannon's coming over to do it. Um, this is the thing where you lose a dress size in just a few minutes, and it really does work. If you're curious or just want to come hang out, we'll be here at 7 o'clock uh, for that showcase. Hope you can come. And, oh, oh, oh uh, the Mark Condon Music Conference we're hosting. He's hosting them all over the country, and, and our church is getting to host the one in the Houston area on February 19th and 20th. They just put up a website, um, powerworshipconference.com, and you can register. It's completely free. It's open to all denominations, anyone who wants to come. But it, uh, you have to register. Even POK people, if you want to come, you have to register. So go ahead and do that so they can begin preparation. And let's see. I think that's all my news for today. Um, although I do want to say, if you would, be mindful of the less fortunate this holiday season. Let's not get so caught up in just buying gifts for people that really don't need anything. I mean, we want to give gifts. That's wonderful. and Bless your family and exchange gifts. But don't leave out those who are struggling, the, the people on the streets who need blankets or warm clothing or food. You can donate to our homeless ministry here at the church or any, any ministry of your choice. But just make an effort to do that this season. Um, I believe that it, it pleases the Lord when we think of of those who are less fortunate. And also our single moms, if you would just slip them a $20 bill, a $100 bill would be even better, a gift card, just let them know that they're not alone and that you care. And if we all just pitch in and help share the burden, we can make this a, a really less stressful season for them. And I think that's it. 
Everybody's going to walk by and hear me talking to myself and think I'm crazy. <laughs> of course, I am crazy. But um, I don't even know if this is going to post right or what. But anyway, have a great night.